Hi friend, welcome to another video. Today we're decorating this black hole of a coffee table. It needs some help, it needs some love, it needs some stuff on it. It's totally empty. So today we're going to be adding some of my favorite thrifted finds that I've been collecting over the last few days. The things I've bought specifically for the coffee table. So it'll be fun because um, I'll go walk you through how I design a coffee table and what we should be looking for when we find items for coffee tables. I hope you enjoy the end result, which I'm sure is, is great. And I hope, let's get into it. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Welcome to my coffee table. I love this coffee table. It has really pretty drawers over here for storage and it has a big hinged area here that opens up for storage as well that I put all the blankets in. So it's quite large, but really the only area that I can decorate is this section right through here because I need to be able to access the blankets at all times because I have toddlers and we all like using blankets all day long. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of the items that I found the other day and we can take a look at everything and kind of get a spread of all the things that I have gathered for this specific purpose and maybe we'll get some ideas as we go. So here we have stacks of books, and then we have trays for separating, making sections. And then we have a few different floral options here. And then the rest are just like knick-knack, fun things, candles, things that will kind of be fillers and add levels. When I'm looking for coffee table books, I like to grab ones that covers are pretty and they match maybe the color scheme I'm going with or just a neutral, pretty neutral is always a good idea, and that they have topics that I'm interested in. And I wanna make sure the trays that I pick are contrasted to the table. We don't want a tray that matches the table exactly because then it won't do the job of corralling things on the table and making it look like a single object instead of all these random things around. So that's what trays are good for. And I make sure I have a couple different ones to choose from. I always like to add greenery on the table because I think it brings some life to the table and interest and I always feel like nature, bringing more nature in is a great idea. I don't mind going with faux just because I have little kids but you can do fresh flowers or a potted plant too. Any kind of greenery is a great idea. And then I like to add knickknacks, little items such as candles or candle holders or vases or little tiny fun objects, things that are different heights, different shapes, different sizes, and maybe different colors. And I just like to have a lot of different textured items to play around with. So I just like to grab a bunch of stuff from around my house or things that I've thrifted and like this duck, how fun is this? <laughs> Gotta love a golden duck moment. Once you get everything gathered together, then you can start the fun part, which is decorating. When I'm decorating the coffee table, I'm thinking a lot about the rule of thirds and balance. If you haven't heard of the rule of thirds, basically it just means that the human eye finds number three more visually or aesthetically pleasing. So if you think about three things, small, medium, large, or three things of the same size, you create three sections, your decorating will be more successful because the human eye finds that more pleasing automatically. I put three items on the tray, I did three different sections, and I did three different heights. So the, all of those things together will create balance, which is the second thing I think about. I make sure that if I put something on one side, I have something to balance it out on the other side. Decorating is just, it's fun. So have fun with it. and keep playing around until you get something that you like. There's really no rule. You can do whatever you like. Oh, oh, oh. 
are done. And I really like how it turned out. What do you think? We have the nice tall floral here, but in the vase, that circle, and it kind of goes with this circle shape over here, so that gives balance in that way. It adds balance because of the color. So we have the gray over here, the gray over here, and in the middle we have bronze, and then we have white and white, and we have that pop of green, which is always important, and then a playful little knickknack here to add character and fun. And you know, I don't know many people with a golden duck on their coffee table, and I'm excited that now I am among them. <laughs> So thank you so much for hanging out with me today as I decorated the coffee table. I hope it gave you some ideas for how you can do your own coffee table, and maybe you can go thrifting for your own items to add. And I hope you have a beautiful day today, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!